Hello, everybody. I'm Seth Weissman, and welcome to another episode of Safe Real Estate. Today, I want to talk about how to prevent seller fraud, where a fraudster attempts to sell land or a vacant home or other property that they do not own. And frankly, a lot of fraud could be prevented if every listing agent were to simply say to the seller, as part of what I need in listing your property, please provide me with a picture identification, either a Georgia driver's license or a passport that shows their name and photograph, which you can then compare and verify against the name of the owner of the property as listed on the GSCCA. And we are seeing more and more situations where the bad guys are attempting to sell property that they do not own. And this one simple step could prevent all kinds of fraud from occurring. And we just had a situation where a very good listing agent was working with the seller selling land didn't ask for this information, eventually got the land under contract. And as part of the closing process, what we were told was the seller is unavailable and they're going to be selling the property based on a power of attorney. We explained that we needed to speak with the seller anyway, and that we needed picture identification from the seller and suddenly we're told that this seller did not provide picture identification, that they had had a situation occur where their identity was stolen. And frankly, what we were hearing was a bunch of crap. It was not a legitimate transaction and ultimately the deal fell apart. This agent had spent dozens of hours attempting to sell the property, did a lot of work, and it all came to naught. And again, it is very simple to try to prevent this fraud by looking at the GSCCA and always getting picture identification. If the person indicates that they're operating or selling based on a power of attorney, say to them, the closing attorneys will need to be speaking to the ultimate owner and they are going to need picture identification from the ultimate owner. I hope this episode of Safe Real Estate has been beneficial. If you simply follow these steps, we should all stay out of trouble on this issue. Great to see everyone. Please continue to tune in. Bye now.